on guys Kirk here from Motor Gear TV thank you guys for joining me on a very cold weekend here in Florida nonetheless we're gonna kick things off and continue the modifications to the M2 today we're gonna be installing some custom painted BMW badges let's get started Now, a couple of you might be wondering what exactly do I mean by custom painted badges? For those of you who are familiar with the traditional BMW roundel, you'll notice that it has a nice chrome ring around it. Now these from factory, they are pretty clean, pretty nice, but I think we can go a step further in improving the look of it. Take a look at this. All right, now these are the badges we're gonna be replacing today. And as you guys can see, it might be pretty hard to tell, but there is a difference between these and the ones that are on the car. Let me pull it out and show you. Bam. Still don't see the difference? Let me take it beside the sock one and show you. Alright, how about now? Now as you guys can see, we have a custom painted roundel. Specifically, the outer ring has been blacked out. Now I know for a few of you, this might not seem like a big deal. But to me, it's all about the small details. And me building this car, I want to make sure that I'm capturing every little aspect as possible to improve the overall look. And I think this is going to make a significant difference in the overall look. Today, we're going to be doing not only the front of the car, but also the rear of the car. And I'm going to be adding one more badge on top of it. All right, now here we go. M2 competition badges. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Kirk, this the car isn't an M2 competition. We're actually not going to be using the competition part of it when I'm eliminating it. For those of you who've been following the channel for some time now, you would know that I did replace the badges a couple months ago with the satin black versions. It does look pretty nice on the car, it does stand up, but for some reason, because the car has been in the sun, color of it is a little bit burnt out. As you guys can see when comparing it to the new one, the colors on this one are much better. The ones that I I got previously i did get them from amazon they aren't oem so i'm assuming that the uv protection on it isn't that good from what i have seen the oem badges do hold up pretty nicely now these are glass black so that's the only thing that i'm a little bit disappointed about we won't have that satin finish but it should look pretty good on the car nonetheless so we're going to be swapping these out as well and finally, we're going to be also switching out the trunk roundel as well. I think this one should give a nice added touch. For those of you who haven't noticed, we do have a new subscribe to Motor Gear TV plate we're going to be using for most of our installs. If you guys aren't following the channel now, please make sure that you're subscribed. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Kirk, why would you need to swap out the emblems? The stock ones are perfectly fine. For those of you who would have seen my previous builds over the past few years, you know that I'm very meticulous, especially when it comes to the small details, because honestly, the small details really make a big difference and for me that's all I need to know again if you're going to be doing something never do it to please other people always make sure that you're doing it for yourself now in addition to the emblems that we're going to be swapping out we are going to be adding an additional surprise to the interior of the car now this is something I wanted to do from the time that we swapped out the gauge faces so we're going to be adding these at the end of the video so you're going to want to stick around for that all right, not gonna waste any more time talking. We're gonna go straight ahead into the emblems. I think we're gonna start with the easiest one, which is gonna be for the trunk of the car. All right, so as you guys can see, we taped everything off. I'm gonna start with this emblem. It's pretty easy to take off. Just tape the side just to make sure that we're, when you're using the trim tool, we don't damage the paint or anything else. We're just gonna use the trim tool right now to just try and angle it in and pull it off. All right, so I decided to take a different approach. We're actually gonna try from the base of it. Seems like I have a little bit more leverage to pull it off from there and then we're gonna use a different size trim tool. And just like that, she's out. Yeah, so just wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. As I mentioned before, these are OEM badges, same exact serial number on it as well. Now, just gonna clean up the surface right now and put these on directly in. Make sure it goes all the way in. Oh. <laughs> All right, and there you have it. And damn, um, thing already looks way better. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, man, proper. Yeah, man. Looks, looks really nice. Tell you guys, it's all about the small details. I'm gonna show you some more of that later. Next thing, we're gonna move on to the M2 badge. Now, for this one, pretty similar to what we did in the past. We're gonna heat up the surface. We're gonna use some of this fishing wire, take it off, and then put the new one on. <sighs> Thank you. 
forgot I had this. All right, so as I mentioned before, this is an OEM badge. Here's a part number right here as well. Now, for this gloss black, I'm gonna take it out and show you. Yep. So here it is. This is basically the template that we're gonna use to put it on the trunk. You peel the backing off and that's gonna show the adhesive. Again, I'm probably just gonna cut the competition part out and then use the rest of it. I was trying to do the M drop. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that should be it. Alright, and here's the moment of truth. Wow. Nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I definitely see the size difference. Yeah. It definitely was smaller than the previous one. This, from what I remember, is the OEM size. Mm, sick. Now, for these emblems, I reached out to a company called Impulse Designs. They do custom painted BMW badges. I'm gonna leave a link for their Instagram in the description below, but as you guys can see, they do really good work. I was really impressed with the overall finish, and on top of that, they ceramic coat them as well for extra protection. All right, so finally we're gonna tackle the front of the car. Now to take off this roundel, it's a little bit different. This one actually has adhesive on the back of it. So let me show you guys right now. There's gonna be some adhesive on the front. What we're gonna basically do to take this off, pretty much similar to the M2 badge, we're gonna heat up the surface and then use some fishing wire to take it off. Afterwards, we're gonna clean up the excess residue and then put this one on. Okay, enough we were able to get off some a lot of this residue, so that's gonna be very helpful. Okay. Now a big thing I want to note when you're putting it on, you want to make sure that it's lined up with these three holes, simply because if you don't, it's gonna be lopsided. You wanna make sure that it's direct and take your time, put it on nice and slow. Oh God. <laughs> That's it. All right guys, so we're basically finished with all of the emblems. Before I show you everything, I'm gonna show you the additional piece that we're putting on today. Decided to add this on. Now this is a matching light blue start stop button. This is something I wanted to put on when we did the gauges, but we didn't have enough time. So we need to be slapping these on right now and then finish up.
so hope you guys enjoyed that quick little b-roll we're all finished with the install pretty simple pretty quick i'm super happy with how the badges look on the car but honestly guys this small detail does so much to it who would have thought that not having the chrome around the roundel would make such a big difference i think for people to really notice it you'd have to see it in person it's one of those things that if you know you know even with the glass black m2 emblem although it is harder to see than the satin version i had it's still a very clean look especially with having the m color stripes not faded out just wanted to give you guys just another quick close-up reference of how the emblem looks it's so much cleaner compared to the chrome i really wish they had a glass black version for this little emblem right here if you guys do know of somebody who makes them please let me know in the comments the car is slowly but surely coming together i'm pretty sure a lot of you who follow the channel will appreciate it this is just a real testament to show that you don't really have to do a lot to your cars to make it look good and this is definitely a good example of one of those enhancements to give it that oem plus look if you haven't done so as yet be sure to check out some of the videos we have on the channel and also stay tuned for some of the new videos that we have coming up very shortly again the interior of the car is exactly where i want it nice little pops of color here and there not too much going on the start button again does make a huge difference i really like it compared to how the stock one was we're almost there guys we're almost there the build is coming together almost complete i know you guys are very excited to see the wheels on the car trust me that video is coming very soon and also i hope you guys have been enjoying all of the updates we've been doing on the e90 m3 build trust me that car is coming together very nicely and i hope you guys are excited for that as well now with that being said i'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog right here thank you guys for tuning in once again if you did like the emblems we installed in this video please make sure to check out the links below it's going to have all the details on how to get them and be sure to check out the list for all the other mods i have for the m2 anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode stay tuned for the next one until then we're gone <laughs>